Hi, I'm CJ Altenberg with TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado, and we appreciate you tuning in this morning. So we've got a really cool custom five horse bumper pull behind me. Yes, five horse bumper pull. This is a brand new Cimarron 2022 North Star. Before we get into all the options and walking you through how this trailer is laid out, different options, different functionalities, let's take a look at the drawing so I can kind of give you some specs on the size of it. So again, it's a five horse bumper pull. What we have is a front dressing room and then we have a full width rear tack room on this trailer. It is 27 and a half foot on the floor. It is eight foot wide and it's seven, seven tall with an integrated pod on it. So very well equipped, very well laid out trailer. Uh, again, it's got a lot of stuff on this. This trailer is sold. It is a custom build. So sat down with the customer, uh, some, one of our, uh, gals on the sales staff sat down with her. She already had a Cimarron, so she is trading in a Cimarron on this one. So that's one thing that we really like to see and we see quite often as people move from a Cimarron to a Cimarron, they really enjoy the quality, they really enjoy the trailer, and they just want to do something a little bit different and we understand things change. We're going from a four horse to a five horse, so they've got the capability here and then from there we can do any type of customization so it's a really fun process to sit down with the customers understand what they're wanting how they want the trailer to function uh, they throw ideas at us we throw ideas at them and then sometimes we come up with new stuff together and and then we can incorporate that on some other trailers so let's take a look at this <laughs> one of the very first things they upgraded with is this instead of a manual crank jack they went with the hydraulic version of this so this is you know a pretty good sized bumper pull so it's really nice to be able to just push a button and up and down this trailer goes on these type of bumper pulls we've been building quite a few of these loaded four and five horse bumper pulls over the last probably 18 months um, one of the things that we notice is is everybody you know wants the ability to maybe tow it with a pickup but also maybe a motor home so we're dealing with a lot of different uh, as far as the hitch itself and where that is going to be located and also keeping this trailer level. So this is a 25,000 pound adjustable coupler right here. So again, if they're towing it with a pickup, it's easy to adjust. Again, a motorhome, that hitch might be a little bit different. So you can actually go in and then adjust this ride height on that. We, we see it more common on our goosenecks as far as adjusting couplers. Uh, not so much on bumper pulls, but in these type of scenarios, this is something that maybe they're going to be pulling with a motor home and then a pickup. So having that ability to do that, that's a nice feature there. <clears throat> so again, front dressing room with a rear tack as well. So this one here, I want you to notice this door is more of a camper style door that they went with. Uh, and the reasoning why is then you get your screen door as well. So they've got a pre-framed for an AC, so they might use this to keep a little bit cooler, hang out maybe at a show type of a scenario. You know, then that's why the camper style door comes into play there. Then also a fold up step. If you look at where I'm standing compared to this top, that's a big, big step. So these fold up steps, we really didn't try to incorporate them on all seven and a half, eight foot wide trailers, but really we've put a lot of emphasis on all of our inventory on these tack doors or entryways into trailers doing these fold up steps because it does make a big difference. We understand you're going to be carrying a lot of stuff with you at times. Um, it's just a lot easier transition going from the ground into the trailer itself. So they did a couple things here in this front dressing room. Uh, fairly basic but with thought process of maybe down the ro road doing some other stuff. So it's rubber on the floor. Uh, what they did on this back wall is they put a shelf with a clothes rod. There is a lip to this, so it'll hold those items up there and not slide off. I want you to also notice this yellow wiring right there. So this is pre-framed for an AC unit and our power is already run. That saves so much time and labor as far as labor costs itself <laughs> down the road when they do put an air conditioner on this trailer. All those, those steps are already done. The other thing too is 30 amp breaker package. So now we have power in order to run that air conditioner. But as of right now, you know, they can go in and plug in a phone and charge it up type of a scenario because there is an outlet in here. But you have the capability to do some stuff down the road with this trailer. 
There's also a battery disconnect. That is standard with those hydraulic jacks. Over the years, that was something that we had to add on. Uh, took us a couple years, but Cimarron went ahead and made that standard on the 22 models. On the partition wall, it's completely carpeted with a lot of hooks. These are aluminum powder coated, so they're really stout. But as you can see, there's quite a bit of storage here. The other thing too, I like these carpeted uh, partition walls because when we have that tack hanging from here, it's not going side to side, scraping up the wall, doing damage possibly to the tack itself. And it also reduces the noise. We've got a horse on the other side of this wall. So when we're traveling, we're not getting all that noise because of that carpet there. The other thing too on this camper style door is this big rotary latch. These are awesome. This is gonna be kind of more like your uh, car latch itself. I mean, as far as the handles go, the way it shuts, it's really simple to shut. Um, and it's a big handle compared to some of the smaller ones. So I'll kind of take a step back. Uh, you can kind of see some graphics there. What we'll do is we'll kind of shut up the windows as we kind of work around this. Uh, that way you can kind of see those graphics at the end there. There are some different color options and then different graphic styles, <laughs> designs that you can pick from. The other thing too is we have a sister company that can do graphics. So if there's a specific design or color that you want to do, we can sit down with them and then we can have that installed when the trailer gets here. So let's take a look at this. There's that integrated pod. It's a real slick leak, uh, look to the trailer itself with those integrated pods. You know, I mean, we literally bring that top rail up. Uh, it really flows well. There is a pod up top there for storage as well for hay. And then they upgraded to quite a few button lights. You know, typically on this size of a trailer, you're gonna get three. They went in and added a few more to it. This thing will look really cool at night. They're the small button lights, but they put off a lot of light itself. They're LEDs, so there's not a big power draw. But you put these trailers, when you turn them on at night, they really, really kind of pop with all those lights on them. 16 inch awning light above the horse area here for tacking up. Uh, having a lot of light coverage is great. We understand you're gonna be in early mornings, late nights, possibly doing stuff. You wanna have some light coverage in these. The other thing is, is there's all those drop windows. So we did drop windows on head side and tail side. Customer wanted that, get a lot of airflow through there. There's some additional things on the inside that we'll take a look at from that standpoint. But man, when you get all those opened up, again, you can create a lot of airflow through there. <laughs> Two 8,000 pound rubber torsion axles, 17 five inch wheels with a 16 ply tire. So really heavy duty tire on this trailer, uh, good running gear underneath it itself. These are balanced and nitrogen filled tires, so our PSI levels aren't going to fluctuate drastically in different temperatures. I mean, here in Colorado right now, we're experiencing it. We're below freezing at night, and then all of a sudden, we're going to turn around and possibly have 80 degrees this weekend. So big, big temperature swings. Now, when we get into those summer months, again, we'll be up in the 90, 95 plus, and then it'll cool off at night. So by having those uh, nitrogen filled tires, it doesn't again fluctuate that that uh, psi level drastically they actually use that on jumbo jets on on actual airplanes so think about the altitudes that they change and then those temperatures that they deal with as well so if you have to put air to one of these tires you can don't be afraid to do that you're more than welcome to do that just if you want to get the benefits of nitrogen a lot of the tire distributors carry that so they can go ahead and refill those with nitrogen uh, you also have a one year no questions us warranty on these tires. So if you have a blowout, catch a nail that can't be patched, you take some pictures of some codes, you send that into Lion's Head. That's the vendor that Cimarron uses for their wheels and tires, and they'll send you a new tire. You also have your two years of roadside assistance. You're automatically enrolled in that when you purchase the trailer itself. They opted, I think it really goes well with the graphic and color design. They opted for the black wheels with silver accents. So if you kind of, again, I'll get it shut up here at the end so you can kind of see it, but there's a lot of black kind of silver incorporated in that. So I think that ties in really well with this trailer. As we get to the back here, this is a rear side load. So we have the ramp that folds down on the outside of the door. We do have the door open. There is a drop window in that door as well. 
So it's not like we just have a bus window. I mean, you have drops on every stall as far as that goes. And then as you come in, this, this load's become so popular, and I'll show you why, in my opinion, why it's become so popular. But as we come into the stall area here, let's talk a little bit about construction of the trailer. We haven't touched on that yet. So all aluminum construction, we're standing on the industry's best floor. It is a 12 inch deck. It's tongue and groove. It locks in high and low and it is four inch centers. So wherever you have a horse standing, they're standing on a support beam. Imagine hoof size. They are always standing on a support beam. Uh, in my opinion, the best way to tell the quality of an all aluminum trailer is just look at the floor. Just literally look underneath the trailer. As you see those centers spread a farther apart, in my opinion, the cheaper trailer. There's less material to begin with, first and foremost. But then from there, they usually do an aluminum sheet over the top, and then they just tack it down. Where That's where, when we spread those centers and horses stand, you'll get those pits and waves in, in trailers. And that's also a good place for urine to kind of kind of go into one spot and then just sit there and that's where that uh, the acidity of the urine will start corroding that floor. So here we have the industry's best floor like I mentioned. It is important to pull these mats out you know once a year maybe twice a year depending on how much you're using it. Power wash it out let it dry. Then one more step is to take um, some baking soda and just sprinkle that down and then put your mats back in here because that will counteract the acidity of the urine, making these trailers last even longer. Now, this stall area, we've got kind of a lot going on here. So we have stud divider at stall one. So if they wanted some additional storage or if they've got a horse that they need to separate from some others, good one here at stall one. Padded dividers as well. <coughs> and then I also want you to notice airflow dividers. So like I mentioned, we have the drops on the tail side drops on head side and airflow dividers. So again, a lot of airflow through the trailer that's gonna keep the horses cooler. Think about when you're outside, it's 95 degrees, it's hot and there's no breeze. I mean, it's just miserable. A little bit of a breeze kicks up and you do feel better about life at that point. Uh, you get a little bit more comfortable. So as we can create airflow through here, keeping the horses more comfortable, that's great. So again, we've got the stud divider at one, and then we've got airflow partial dividers at two, three, four. And obviously there's four dividers since it's a five horse, but padded dividers as well on all of them. And then these slam latches. This is great for safety for you and for the horses. Real simple to just push forward. This is a heavy UHMW plastic piece here. So we don't have that metal to metal contact. So as you're driving, it's not rattling, um, but it's real simple to use and then real simple to release. You know, we're not having to hold the divider, hold the horse in place, dropping a pin in something like that. So then they have a aluminum cast piece that's powder coated around it. So it's flush to the wall. And I want you to notice everything has a radius on these trailers. There's real no 90 degree angle. So you even took the step as to do it on these aluminum cast pieces. Instead of squaring it, that's rounded. You touch all the dividers, all the jail bars, everything has a radius so it's nice and smooth and safe for the horses. So we've got kick mats all the way around and then since it's an integrated roof, we went in, line and insulate and cap it with the aluminum, the 050 aluminum that Cimarron uses, so it's a real heavy duty aluminum. You do have a couple roof vents at the first and second stall but because about where we're at is where that hay pod that integration starts so now we can't have those uh, additional uh, roof vents right above me but there's plenty of airflow through this trailer uh, because of every little step that they made and every option they decided to go with and then you've got led lights here in the staller you got five so you got one above each horse so there again a lot of light coverage in this stall area so just because this is kind of a lined and finished look to this stall area, you still have Cimarron's insulated roof on top. So as far as the trailer itself goes, you still have the insulation up there. Um, you know, we're just dealing with, again, that integrated pod, and that's why you see this 050 aluminum here. And then at this last stall, because of our transition here getting into this stall area, 
this is a little bit wider. This is 48 inches wide because we want those horses to kind of turn and make it, which, you know, this is actually a pretty good setup because be, with it being eight foot wide, no mangers, we have a little bit more room for horses to make that turn and get into this trailer. So again, rear door just shuts with the paddle latch that goes over it, and then you have the ramp. Now these ramps, I mean, they're, they're big in size just because we need to extend them past because the natural motion of a horse is we're gonna kind of come out of that stall area and come somewhat down at an angle. I mean, they gotta get their shoulders ahead of them uh, to make that turn and come off at a 90, and that's kind of hard to do. So with these rear tacks, we extend the trailer a little bit and also this rear ramp. And Cimarron's done a great job with their uh, springs. So the spring assist on these rear ramps, they are fairly easy to lift up. As it gets up, it actually kind of wants to suck into the trailer itself. Additional 16 inch awning light above that door entry. So again, a lot of light coverage. So this is why these loads have become so popular is now we have this full width rear tack. And I always use the example of, you know, you basically have almost the same amount of square footage in this. You're gonna have a little bit less than a mid tack. But if you think about it, a mid tack usually is four to five feet. In my opinion, it needs to be five feet when we're dealing with the, the slants. Because of our angles, uh, I just think a four foot uh, slant wall mid tack is just too tight. You don't have a lot of room to work in it. Uh, so I always tell everybody five is kind of ideal if you want to go with a mid tack. Well, then you had five foot length to this trailer. So again, it was 27 and a half foot on the floor. Now we're not adding five total, we'd be adding three more. So this thing would be 30 foot and six inches because the short wall on this rear tack is two feet. So we have added two feet to the trailer. But if you think about that, you know, it does keep the ability to keep the trailers a little bit shorter, but then having all this tack. And these tacks are phenomenal to work out of. I mean, you can work out of either side of this trailer. This is a very well equipped rear tack room. You've got your dual doors, carpet on everything. So carpet on the doors, carpet on all the walls. Again, trying to reduce, reduce that noise. And also you spend a lot of money on tack. Let's not damage it in any way and scuff it up. Two removable saddle posts. So those can be removed. Three saddle pads per. You can go in and add more saddle pads if you want, and then all of these are adjustable. So I can adjust the height if I want to. Over to the right, you see multiple rows of hooks. So you have some on the slant wall, and then some on that short wall side. And this is really cool, this um, shelf that goes almost all the way across this tack room. So again, it's got a lip on it as well. So great place to put items in there. There are two 16 inch awning lights on the inside, just like on the outside. We have to go with those on these type of setups because we don't have that big uh, framework as far as a lip on the inside here to do our normal LED lights. So these work fantastically well and they shoot down and out. And honestly, that's where we need the light coverage in this tack room. And then behind me, there's a corner water tank back there, 25 gallon so they can carry some water on board with them. And then another couple sets of rows of hooks on that long wall. And then on this left-handed door, it has a blanket pole rack on the door. It's on a gas shock, so it swings out for you. And then a brush tray on that door as well. And one on the right-hand side, so you have a little bit more just storage for those smaller, more, you know, kind of miscellaneous loose items there. So I want to shut this up because I want to show you what's on the back side of this left hand door or driver's side door. First and foremost, you have this deadbolt combo as well. So you can lock this door itself, but the combo locks become very popular because now you don't have to have a key, you just need to know the code, punch it in, open and lock that door. So again, on this door here, getting up into that pod area. So this is really cool. So there's a deck on the back. And as you can see, they went with the extension, kind of a, almost a uh, security fence up there for safety purposes. Um, 
but you have the deck for maybe some additional storage. And then as you're loading and un unloading hay, you've got the ability to stand back there. And then you've got these two pedestal lights. Those are, those are really cool. I'm, I, I prefer pedestal lights on the back of these type of trailers. I don't really like them on the sides of trailers for load lights. You, you know, though it was kind of the early state years of load lights itself, but those would stick up and kind of protrude out. So if you went underneath a tree or something, you'd knock one right off. I like them on the back. I like the awning lights that I showed you on the side of this trailer because they're somewhat flush to the trailer. They don't stick up and out. But a lot of light coverage, you'll be able to adjust those as well. And then if you have to get up there to that, I forgot there's a new safety feature that I'll show you here in a second. Let me get it out. But you lift up on the ladder and now we have an easy angle ladder. So instead of going straight up the side of this with a bolt on, you know, you really can't ever carry anything in your hand um, on those bolt ons because you're going straight up. You need both hands to work your way up there. This, you can literally carry something with you. Maybe a feed bag, maybe a couple feed bags, anything like that that you're going up there to the pod and getting that stuff out of it. Um, it's just a lot simpler transition going up and down this as far as the ladder's concerned. The other thing too, is this new safety feature. So what you have is you've got these rubber sockets here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push down on this, but you notice this pin here. So when I push down on this, it automatically locks into, that pin does, into this UHMW. See, won't come out. And then you have the fold up steps at the back of this trailer as well. Again, getting in and out of there with a lot of stuff maybe in your hands, it's nice having all those steps. Steps can usually be added to trailers, uh, but if there's a running board, then it gets a little bit trickier. So again, we like to go ahead and design and build all of our Cimarron's with that already on there. That easy angle ladder, you can add to other trailers as well. So even if it's not a Cimarron, you can add that to those. Our parts and service department can help you out with that. Here on driver's side, there's a good look at those drop downs with the jail bars. Now, some customers actually like jail bars as well on the, on the tail side, so we can option it that way if you'd like. On this one here, obviously on the head side, it's real simple. You just kind of lift up on them and find that sweet spot where they just come right out of that track that they set in, and down they come. Now, there's a couple things I want to point out. I want you to notice the framework how massive that is around this window. Prefab windows won't have any framework. Uh, they can have the ability to break very easily. These things are so massive and so strong that you know these things are gonna hold up and you have a nice seal and shut every time you, you know, actually go ahead and open and close these. You're gonna be using these every time. So why cheapen it up? a trailer by doing a prefab or an extremely small framed drop window. These also have welded hinges with grease certs, so they're easier to maintain for you as well. There's one kind of maybe it's a little squeaky, you can go ahead and do it. And there's actually a pin that goes in there and actually has a groove. So every time you open and close it, when you put grease to it, it's literally trying to take that grease and force it all the way through this area. So that's little things that Cimarron has done over the years to just try to improve the trailers, the functionality, and just general maintenance. I mean, having that greaser on there is a, is a big deal. A lot of other hinges, you actually have to heat them up, try to get some type of fluid in there, you know, to go ahead and get them, get them lubricated. One of the other things that they've done is I want you to notice the drip rail above the windows and doors. So that's a new uh, feature that they've put on these trailers on the 22 models, kind of late 22 models. Uh, what that does is it just, anytime we have snow melt or rain coming off this, I mean, again, we can get below freezing this time of the year. So as those items get into the windows, they'll freeze up and then they're hard to open. So let's try to get that stuff away from it. And that's not just a piece that's welded on after the fact, that is extruded. They build sticks of that specifically for doors and windows. So again, they kind of take a lot of extra steps uh, when they're building these Cimarron's. There's our escape door going to install number one. 
Again, we've got that stud divider, so if you wanted to use it for additional storage, you've got the ability to access those items from this door. And then also, in the door itself is another drop window. So again, we've got drops at all stalls, just like on the other side, even in that back door uh, going into that. Now, one of the last things, I'll kind of take a step back here, is I want you to notice that that extrusion is polished. So it is nice and shiny. I mean, it, it really kind of caps this trailer off. I mean, this is a very well-equipped trailer. And again, it turned out extremely well with the graphics, the black wheels with uh, silver accents, the integrated pod. It is a sharp, sharp looking trailer. And that polish just kind of tops it off. Now, from a maintenance standpoint, you never want to acid wash the polish. It'll burn it. So then you'll have to go back and repolish it. So what you want to do is you want to citrus wash it. It's not as harsh, it just brightens it up. That's what you want to do as far as maintaining these trailers themselves. So again, unfortunately, this trailer is sold, but we can order you one exactly like it, or we can do anything you want and build it to your specs. These Cimarrons are like fingerprints. Every one of them is a little bit different. Even from our inventory, we try to mix it up quite a bit to give you a lot of options, show you a lot of stuff. Uh, but again, just a really cool and very well-equipped trailer. So if you're interested in it or want to visit about um, possibly building something like this, I'm going to give you the stock number for reference. Again, it's a 2022 Cimarron North Star 5-horse bumper pole. The stock number is 5N211498. So again, anybody on our sales team can help you out with possibly talking about this trailer, possibly talking about our used inventory, what we have on order, or building you something to spec. So give us a call. That number is 303-684-3400. We appreciate you tuning in and have a good day.